a, oops, no light. So I'm going to do the devotional ad here on the porch. It's early in the morning. You can see our firewood there. And then all of our tomato plants are growing. Anyway, it's really early and nice and quiet out here this morning. So I'm going to do the devotional out here. Okay, this is called Put on a Heart of Compassion. Have you ever noticed that some people are more naturally compassionate than others? My husband, way more compassionate than me. <laughs> Maybe it's their personality or upbringing. Nevertheless, in the church, every believer is told to put on a heart of compassion, Colossians 3.12. When empathy doesn't come naturally, some Christians may wonder if something's wrong with them. So what can we do to develop a greater sense of caring? While emotions cannot be manufactured on demand, we can change our thoughts, which in turn affect our emotions. Compassion, like all the other qualities listed in today's passage, is possibly only when we think of others before ourselves. Is possible, sorry. Is possible only when we think of others before ourselves. That's true. Self-centeredness keeps us from seeing the needs of, and hurts of those around us and acting on their behalf. What we need is a renewed mind. We are all born with a selfish, sinful nature referred to as the old self. But when a person puts his trust in Jesus, he receives a new self created in righteousness by God. As our minds are renewed with his word and we grow in obedience, Christ's love and compassion begin to flow through us. Instead of our being oblivious to the pain and suffering around us, God will open our eyes and use us to comfort those in need. A heart of compassion is achieved not through self-effort, but through a God-focused life. As we draw near to him through his word and his son, he transforms our focus, thoughts, and feelings. What a relief to know that God has provided everything we need to follow Jesus' example of caring. He always equips us to obey his every command. So as I was saying, my husband, very compassionate. <laughs> He's got such a soft heart and I'm a bit rough around the edges. He'll tell you that. So uh, I learned from him a lot, I have to say. And, you know, being an artist, a singer and all that stuff, I had many, many years of being self-centered and just all about me, 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 me. Even a friend of mine gave me a diva mug back in the day when I, at one of my jobs. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, so I've learned a lot for it, you know, over the years for it not to always be about me. And now that I'm married, of course, it's not always about me. So, okay. So today's our last day with our friends. I have to go. We're going to do Asheville today. You all have a blessed day. God bless you. And um, I guess it's a good thing I'm doing these again every day. I hope everybody's digging this. Okay. Bye.